Alright, hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today's Moto Vlog is going to be about being social. Um, it's something that I struggled with for a really long time, mainly because I'm the youngest of four siblings. I, like when I was growing up, I didn't honestly have to do much talking. Like, I, I was always relying on kind of my older siblings to maintain conversations with strangers and, you know, figure out how to do things and how to get places. I would just kind of tag along. And really, it set me up for a lot of failure in the future when it came to, you know, high school and, and college and work afterwards. But what I learned in high school was uh, really being social in today's in today's society, it's kind of it's kind of one of those things that's it's good to have, but you don't really need. As strange as that is, because so many people are just in their own bubble these days, where they just don't care about what's going on. They don't care about talking about talking to other people. They'll just mother. They just much rather look at their phone and and figure that crap out. And you know that's. It's sad because you can have two completely different people, two complete strangers sitting next to each other and you know, you guys could have everything in common or you guys could just be that light in each other's day, but you're too afraid to say hello and how's your day going? And you know, it sucks, it's really unfortunate because it sucks to be lonely. And I've been lonely for, for a pretty long time because of my lack of social skills. You know, it just goes back to to seeing the opportunity in every day. And talking to someone new is a huge opportunity. Gigantic. So, I just take the time to say hello to someone. Um, even if it's, it's someone that you know, like your next door neighbor or your neighbor across the street, and you just haven't talked. Like, that's, you know, just go out and meet someone new and just say hello um, because that's honestly the hardest part after that everything else kind of falls into place um, you don't need to know how to do anything else just as long as you acknowledge that hey you're a human being I'm a human being you know hi but let's let's just go back to my story um, in high school um, I was a pretty I was a pretty smart dude but I wasn't very good with the ladies. Um, because, you know, it's hard to talk to girls when you're in high school, you know? You know, it's really awkward. Your body's changing, their body's changing. Uh, but uh, you guys you guys, aren't, you guys aren't kids anymore, so we'll, we'll get past that. But anyways, I was interested in all these girls, and I just didn't have the guts to say, hey, uh, I think you're really cute. Uh, you want to be my girlfriend and you know that's kind of that's kind of a weird thing to talk about but man so anyways uh, I ended up developing these skills and stuff like that and being able to talk to people because of one saying that I had in my head the entire time and it's uh I can't remember where I learned it from but it just stuck with me and that phrase that I got into my head that really helped me with my social skills and my lack of social skills was fake it till you make it. Um, and it's kind of weird because when I talk to you guys about being social and I talk about how sincere I am, you know, you don't want to hear fake it till you make it because I'm not a fake guy. I'm just saying the, the I'm just saying the saying fake it till you make it helps me get out of my shell. And honestly, there is so much power in, in stepping out of your comfort zone, especially when it comes to a social situation like what I'm talking to you right now about. Fake it till you make it. Let's go ahead and break it down. I'm not saying be fake 100% of the time. I'm saying if you want to try something new, especially if you want to try talking to people, fake confidence. Fake being, I don't know, fake being confident in yourself fake good social skills because what that'll do is eventually those those 
feelings of confidence that you have in yourself, that sense of humor that you you find when you start making mistakes and you just you just shake it off, and you you just get this this like you just get this feeling like, hey, I can do this, and really, you can do it. You can do it, and you know. Back to high school and back to college. Fake it till you make it. I would say that to myself every single day. Fake it till you make it. And what I ended up learning and doing, what I ended up learning how to do, was I ended up copying people that I was that I had I'd, I'd interface every day with. I started copying the mannerisms of my brother because my older older brother is he's really social. He's incredibly social. He'll be your best friend for a day and you won't even know him because he's just that good at being being confident in what he's saying and about being, you know, a friendly dude. And you know, it's it's crazy because fake it till you make it doesn't sound like it'll work, but I'm kind of the I'm kind of the evidence of that. I'm I'm the evidence of being able to talk to you guys and being able to being able to articulate my thoughts because at one point I was terrible at articulating my thoughts and I was terrible at talking to people and you know I I'm not saying that you should be a fake person I'm saying that if you're struggling with 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 communication just find someone find a youtuber who you like who you um who you really enjoy listening to and figure out why you enjoy listening to them. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you a couple of uh, YouTubers that I like. I like Snowcat. Snowcat always starts, yo, 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 yo. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, but it's like stupid stuff like that. And like Baker X Derek has that stupid Megusta song. And you know, he talks to you guys like you're like you're like his best friend and you guys are like teenagers together because Baker X Derek is that kind of he's that guy that you wish you like you kind of had the ability to be that immature dude who just like yells cheer at random people and you know does stupid stuff with and if you want to be that guy if you want to do those things find someone who you think is funny and be funny with them and be funny by copying what they do and you know eventually you'll start finding your own stuff to do you'll start finding your own mannerisms and you know to be honest it's okay if you copy that person because it's cool it's cool to have it, it's really flattering to be able to to have your stuff mimicked and it's flattering to to, to mimic those people like every day when I go into work and I want to break the ice with my coworkers, I copy Snowcat I go yo 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 and then it just puts a huge ass smile on my staff's face because they like it they see that I'm not a super serious boss and they, they like the fact that I have a sense of humor and that I'm down to earth because really I'm a down to earth guy and I have a huge sense of humor I just can't convey that easily to people and you know, if if you want to be confident, you can be confident. Fake it till you make it. Um, so, I don't know. I'm not saying go buy a self-help book. I'm not saying go do all these crazy things. I'm just saying, like, you don't have to be stuck in the same shell that you're in all the time because you're afraid, you know, fear shouldn't keep you from saying hello to someone, you know, their interpretation of you shouldn't, shouldn't, you know, hinder you from, from just being social, because being social is something that you carry throughout your entire life, it's not just about that one person that you're interested in, it's not just about that one coworker that you talk to, it's just not about your one neighbor or whatever, it's, it's about carrying these skills into the future, and that's something I learned early on, is if, if you want to learn something and you really want to make your life better, there's no better day to start than yesterday. You should have started yesterday. You should have been confident yesterday. Because honestly, there's so many regrets that you can have, but you shouldn't be responsible for those regrets. And lack of confidence is just such a huge thing. 
if you if you want to change yourself you can be confident just make eye contact say hello smile practice smiling in the mirror um, practice talking to people hell start a moto uh, moto <laughs> that doesn't make any sense start a YouTube mo moto vlogging channel and just talk to people because honestly dude people want to talk to other people people want to listen people want to be heard and you can be that guy who's like hey I'll talk to you I'll listen to you no big deal awesome um, but guys like you don't have to be trapped in your shell like I was trapped in my shell. You can you can get the girl. You can make a bunch of cool cool friends, meet a bunch of cool people because they're just as awkward as you are. They feel the same exact feelings that you do. So you shouldn't be afraid when you say something dumb or you fumble with words like I do. But you know, it's like you shouldn't be afraid of that stuff for one and two like everybody makes mistakes you're gonna you're gonna mess up you're gonna botch that one that one conversation with that one really cool girl and you're just gonna dig yourself in a hole but dude that's okay that happens uh, what you really need to do is you just need to shake off that negativity and just say hey that was a cool opportunity I'm glad I learned about it um, but anyways guys thank you thank you thank you so much for tuning in until next time, this is no one's watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.